Hi, are you struggling with applied physics for SEM and exams and finding difficult to identify the important and key questions? Don't worry, I am here to guide you to overcome your problems. Myself, Dr. Shivana Greddy, and we are going to see the applied physics exam pattern model paper along with it important questions for this SEM and exams chapter wise based on the numbers we will encounter in the exam paper. Let's start. So when come to the exam, internal marks will be for 40 marks and external will be 60 marks. Combinedly, it will be 100. Previously, we discussed about the internal exams. So if you required, just check it. For when come to the external exams, total marks is 60 marks. Time is 3 hours. And the question paper consists of two parts. Part A, Part B. In Part A, we have 10 questions of each one mark, total 10 marks. So all questions we have to write compulsory. Then question numbers will be from 1 to 10. Each unit carries two questions. So total 10 marks. Part B, it is consist of 50 marks. It contains five questions from 11 to 16. In this also 11, we get always internal choice A or B. So five questions, five units. Each unit provide one question. So each question carries 10 marks, totally 50 marks. 50 plus 10, 60 marks. Now come to the model paper. So section A consisting of short answer type questions. Unit 1, we get two questions. Unit 2, two questions. Unit 3, two questions. Unit 4, two questions. Unit 5, two questions. These are very short answer and one mark only so we have to write answers carefully then section b these are essay questions here also it contains 11 12 13 14 a or b's will be there and we have to answer any one from a or section b. a consists of one mark questions 10 questions will be asked 10 questions we have to answer all are compulsory. When come to the wave optics, Huygen principle we have to write then what is interference and superposition principle, difference between interference diffraction, Fresnel Fraunhofer diffraction, unpolarized polarized light and double refraction. So whenever they are asking for one mark, don't write uh, two three pages, just write whatever required for that one mark. These are the questions from wave optics. When come to quantum mechanics, we have de Broglie hypothesis, black body radiation and we have to remember that Planck's law then Heisenberg uncertainty principle and uh, wave function and its physical significance then drawback of Sommer field theory generally what do you mean by effective mass of the electron this one also they will ask then explain the concept of Brillouin zone or EK diagram energy and the propagation constant diagram we have to write then we have semiconductors and devices as a third unit the question number will be 5 to 6 what is carrier concentration in semiconductors then define P type and type semiconductors and energy level diagram Fermi level conduction band valence band everything we have to show in the extrinsic semiconductors those are nothing but n type and p type then formation of the pn junction diode list out applications of solar cell led photodiode so whatever may be semiconducting devices basically we have to understand its uh, principle as well as applications then next one is a nanotechnology then in this chapter we have mainly what are nanomaterials surface to volume ratio quantum confinement applications of xrd then what do you mean by nanoscale what is pvd Next one for the question number 9 and 10 we have unit 5 lasers and optical fiber so in this what is the main difference between spontaneous emission and stimulated emission then define population inversion then characteristics of laser applications of lasers then principle of optical fiber and applications of optical fiber generally these questions will get repeated in the pre uh, previous exam so based on the previous exams only we compiled these things. Then when come to the section B, it each question carries 10 marks and we have to write the 5 questions. For question number 11, in this you can see the two colors basically from each unit there will be a two parts because each question carries part A or B. So two questions they will ask and one question we have to write. So the people who are not able to cover a total syllabus in a short span of the time chapters with a single color so that you can answer five out of five questions. Explain interference by thin films reflection. Newton ring experiment. So then explain Fraunhofer diffraction at single slit. So single slit diffraction, construction and working of Nicole's prism. These four questions first for the first unit and then you can read other content what is available 
available in your study material. When come to question number 12, this unit consists of two parts, quantum physics and solids. You can get one essay question from quantum physics and another essay questions from solids. So focus on one. We are getting these type of the questions. One is the division germer experiment. We have Schrodinger time independent wave equation, then 1D box, which is application of Schrodinger wave equation and getting energy and wave function. Then when come to the solids, we have a classical free electron theory, quantum free electron theory, croning penny model and formation of bands and materials classification like conductors, semiconductors, insulator. So based on your strength, you will focus on the subject. Next unit is semiconductors and devices. In this semiconducting devices, Hall effect and uh, derivation for it. Then distinction between direct indirect band gap uh, semiconductors. Then when come to the next one, PN junction diode, BJT, solar cell and LED. When come to the 14th question, it's a nanotechnology. Nanotechnology basically introduction part will be there followed by synthesis methods. Then finally characterization. So what we can expect is from basics and synthesis, we can get one question and characterization and its applications, we can get another question. So when come to the synthesis of a nano materials, soil gel method is one of the important one and this ball milling is also important one. First then how to use SEM and TEM scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy to characterize the nanomaterials. So we have to familiar with it. Then finally the applications of nanomaterial. So based on the marks we have to answer. From last unit that is a question number 15. Last unit is lasers and optical fibers. So in this we have a two parts lasers and optical fiber. We will get one question from lasers another question from optical fiber. So in a lasers we have Einstein coefficients and its relations, construction of helium neon laser and NDA laser and semiconducting lasers. Typically we have these three. Now when come to the optical fiber, explain the acceptance angle and deduce the expression for numerical aperture, step index, graded index, optical fiber and how the signal is transmitted through them. Then write a note on losses in optical fiber. This is also an important question. All the best. Uh, signing off, Dr. Shivanagreddy, Jai Hind.